Yo, what is up guys, Tava here, and today I'm going to be showing you how Sam Colder achieves most of his insane looking transitions that everyone knows and loves without any masking or fancy effects whatsoever. <laughs> So those video clips I just showed were from Sam Colder's video back in Guam, and as you can see, a lot of those shots look like they had fancy transitions in them. And the first time I watched his video, I really thought they did too. I thought they had fancy masks and fancy effects all laid throughout that. But when I went through it frame by frame, I realized that everything was really simple and actually just smart editing. Of course, Sam Colder does use insane looking transitions that take hours and hours to mask out and just look incredible when he's finished, but the vast majority of his transitions in his videos are actually very simple and anyone can do them in iMovie. So today I'm going to be breaking a couple of his shots down with examples and then showing how you can do it super easily with your own footage. So when you're actually shooting footage to make these transitions, it can be nice to actually think about the transition you want to create while you're shooting so you know whether to move to the left or right or what direction and colors to keep in different shots so it's easier in editing. But if you have a lot of really similar shots, you can kind of just piece them together in editing and find ones that work well together and create good transitions. But today I'm going to be going over two transitions that Sam Colder uses very often, especially in this video, which are the color and shade match and the speed and direction. And these two are very often combined together. So the simplest examples are the color and shade match. So as you can see here, if we break this down, here's a sunset. And if I go frame by frame, it gets darker and darker until it eventually goes completely dark and black. And from here, it just cuts to another shot, which is a completely different location, but it is a pretty dark part of that shot. So this fade all the way from color down to really dark and then another dark shot comes out and reveals your subject and if you play it back although it doesn't seem super seamless frame by frame when you play it back at normal speed you can see that there's a lot of motion and it works pretty seamlessly another example of this color and shade match is with Sam in this underwater shot and he has a flashlight in his hand and as the flashlight light comes over the lens of the camera it completely blows it out to be completely white and then the shot somewhere in there cuts and fades into this other shot which is a drone shot that's coming out of a white cloud. So as you can see, there might be a bit of a cross dissolve between these two shots, but it's basically just cutting from white to white between shots to make this seamless transition, which is pretty cool. Now the second type of transition is the speed and direction one. So as you can see, there's a shot here with Sam on a skateboard moving over to the right at very quick speed. So if you go frame by frame, you can see he comes over to this car and as this shot passes behind the car, somewhere behind the car as it begins to get darker, it cuts directly with no transitions or masks to this other shot with him skateboarding in front of the camera with his body creating a dark shape over the camera and the camera continues moving over to the right like it was before. So frame by frame, it really doesn't look that impressive, but the first time I saw this played back at normal speed, it completely astounded me because I was almost positive that it had some sort of advanced mask in it. But when you go frame by frame, you find out that it's actually a very simple effect. And here's another breakdown of a similar idea. You can see Sam running through the forest with the camera moving over to the right in parts of the forest passing in front of the camera and at some point you just see his body and then it cuts really hard without a mask or anything to another shot of ferns in the forest again moving off to the right and revealing the subject again but you can see it cuts from this completely light shot to this completely dark shot but because the speed direction and colors are pretty similar when you play it back at normal speed and it's going very fast it looks very seamless and then here's a final breakdown with the same two ideas of color and shade match as well as speed and direction so you can see here Sam is in the forest and the camera is moving over to the left and a leaf begins to pass over the lens and then somewhere when the leaf is mostly over the lens it cuts to a different shot where the camera is again moving over to the left there's a different subject in the frame now but the leaf still stays kind of in the right side of the frame like it was before. The leaf is a bit darker and doesn't take up the entire frame but because it is covering the lens and moves in the same direction it works very well and looks seamless. So those were just a couple breakdowns of this transition applied in an actual video, but now I'm going to go outside and show you how to do it yourself. Okay, so I'm outside now, and because a lot of those Sam Colder example clips that I showed you were based inside of a rainforest, I'm going to be doing my first example with some leaves. So matching the direction of movement as well as color matching the green leaves. So let's just take these leaves right here for example. So I think the shot I want is to have it start up here, and then what I want is for the camera to come in a diagonal this way pass through the leaves and then right about here transition into a different shot. So if I just shoot this real quick. 
and now I'm in a different part of the yard and I'm going to be using this artichoke plant which is a completely different shape and color as the other thing but it is still relatively green. It should be pretty easy to match these two. So what I'm going to be doing is starting at about the same place as before and be sure to just match the speed and angle that I work with. So if I just shoot this real quick. So now I'm going to do a color matching shot with this red toolbox here. So basically I'm going to have a shot start up here, come down here into the red, and then transition over into these bike bags over here. So start down low here, and then transition into this wheel. So hopefully this will look like a pretty cool transition. And then for the last shot, I'm going to use the super overexposed white sky as a way to transition to a different white shot. And then I'm going to be transitioning that into the super white light inside of this fridge. But anyway, that's basically all you need to know to do this super easy transition inside of any editing software. Just line up your two clips next to each other, trim them down, and you're good to go. Of course, I'm sure Sam Colder uses some speed ramping or something between the clips to make them move more smoothly, but that's really easy to do as well. I can leave a tutorial for that down in the description below. And also music, sound effects, and color grading really help to enhance the transition. But that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.